Tonight, Travis County is considering keeping nonviolent gun offenders out of jail. Instead of serving time, they would participate in a prosecutor-led intervention program. KXN's Brianna Hollis tells us why county leaders believe this will drop the number of gun crimes. And get at the root causes of what what has people pick up a gun? On Tuesday, the Travis County District Attorney and County Commissioners concluded their three-day session aimed at preventing gun violence. The first session called for ways to streamline investigations. Then the group discussed intervention programs for victims to stop the cycle of violence led by community advocates. These advocates are community members trained in trauma-informed resource assistance. The final session centered around a diversion program currently used in Minneapolis as an alternative to incarceration. That includes understanding trauma, anger management, and decision making. And what they've seen in Minneapolis is that many folks are carrying guns because of trauma and fear. And this program is about understanding especially the role of trauma and the decision to carry a firearm. The program allows people arrested for certain nonviolent gun offenses, meaning they never pulled the trigger, the option to participate in an intensive intervention program. Upon successful completion of that program, the charges would be dropped. The more difficult question is what to do about people who may be on the path to committing an act of gun violence, but who haven't yet committed an act of gun violence. The question is, what is the most effective way um, to intervene? Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. And the Austin Police Association has some concerns about this program. VP Thomas Villarreal says the association isn't against diversion programs, but he wants to make sure the court system isn't diverting people with a serious history of serious felonious behavior. Now, county leaders did not provide a list of which types of nonviolent gun crimes would apply.